Operations Research. In this session, we are going to discuss about what is the syllabus of Operations Research of Mumbai University for semester 7. And we will also discuss about the reference books and what is the examination pattern. This is the mind map that I have created. So we will start from this end. You can see here, this is a semester 7 subject. It is an institute level elective these days, which has been offered by Mumbai University. The subject code is ILO 7015. The course credit for the subject is 3. And there are 6 modules that you can see here. We will start with the discussion of module 1. This contains topics like introduction to operation research, which can be divided as introduction to the subject, the structure of the mathematical model that is important for operation research study, and what are the limitations of operations research subject. Next topic is of linear programming in module 1. These contains various topics like graphical method, Siblix method, begin method, two phase method, duality in LVP, and sensitivity analysis. From these topics, you may expect two numericals at least for 10 marks each in the examination. The next topic in module 1 is of transportation problem. These can be solved by using methods like Northwest Corner Rule. Least cost method, VAM method, or stepping stone method. And there is Modi method which is used for optimizing the solution. So, one problem of this topic can also be expected. Next comes the assignment problem. These are the various topics in it. The first one is the Hungarian method algorithm. So, based on this, how do you assign? A particular job to say a particular machine or say a particular job to a particular operator that can be done then processing of n jobs through two machines and m machines is another type of numerical which could be asked then there is graphical method of two jobs m machine problem routing problem which is also there and the last one is traveling salesman problem which includes things like a salesman has to go from a uh, home city to various other cities and come back to his city. So how do you assign the job to the traveling salesman? So these are the various types of numericals which are possible from assignment problem topic. You may expect a problem on this topic as well for 10 marks. And the last topic is integer programming problem. Here there is Gobori's cutting plane algorithm, branch and bound technique and introduction to decomposition algorithms. You may expect a 5 mark theory or maybe a 10 mark numerical. Now whatever numericals I am telling you, these are the probability of occurrence. So the maximum marks that you can allocate to this module is 30. And it is possible that it is of 25 marks also. Sometimes it may also cross this 30 mark range and it can go up to 35 also. It depends on how many questions are asked based on this topic. If you see this topic in the syllabus, it is for 14 hours, which is the maximum amongst all the 6 modules, as the rest of the modules are only for 5 hours each. So since the maximum time is allocated to this module, you should expect the maximum number of questions and maximum marks allocated to this module. Next is module 2. The topic of module 2 is queuing models. These are the various topics or you can see the types of numericals that are possible. First is the discussion about queuing systems and structures. The next topic is single server and multiple server models. Then you have the topic of poison input. There is something called as exponential service, constant raised service, infinite and finite population. 
so these are the topics which are to be understood and there will be numericals based on these topics so you should expect at least one numerical for 10 marks and a five marks theory based on this topic so the total marks that i've allocated here is 10 to 15 marks for module 2. module 3 topic is simulation again this topic can be asked for 10 to 15 marks 10 marks numerical and a five mark theory question this topic has various subtopics like introduction to what is simulation monte carlo simulation the applications of the simulation technique advantages and limitations of the simulation technique there are numericals based on monte carlo simulation one question definitely occurs on this topic and you may have a small theory question of five marks say what is monte carlo technique or short note on it what are the applications of simulations advantages or limitations of simulation something of this sort could be a five mark question next comes module four topic is dynamic programming this is again asked for 10 to 15 marks these are the various topics characteristics of dynamic programming priority management employment smoothing capital budgeting stage coach or shortest path cargo loading reliability problem so these are the various topics there are numericals based on this topic so one numerical is expected from this topic of dynamic programming and maybe a five mark theory question next comes the fifth module the topic is game theory this is also for 10 to 15 marks these are the various types of games that you need to understand and there are certain topics which are important competitive games is one thing rectangular game you need to know what is saddle point calculation of saddle point is very important min max max min method something which you need to know you need to know how to find the value of the game dominance principle is a topic on which numerical may be asked mixed strategy for two by two games is again a topic on which numericals may be asked now from here you may expect a 10 mark numerical and a 5 mark theory question or maybe a small numerical of 5 marks from this topic. Next comes module 6. The topic is inventory models. Again this is of 10 to 15 marks. A 10 mark numerical on maybe classical EOQ models, EOQ model with price breaks, EOQ with shortage, probabilistic EOQ model. So based on any of these topics you may have a 10 mark numerical and a 5 mark theory question may be asked. So you can expect 10 to 15 marks on the module 6 as well. Module 2 to 6 as I have already told you is of 5 hours each. So the weightage is also comparatively less and I have given equal weightage to all of them based on the previous year question papers which I have analyzed. Now there are various books which you can refer for studying operations research. One is S.D. Sharma. Hira Gupta is one of the best books which you can refer. The language is really easy and it will be easy for you to follow. Taha is another best book in the market for this topic. And I have given you two more names of books which you may refer. It depends on which book you want to refer out of these. There are many more authors available on operational research which you can go through and what is the examination pattern that's most important. There will be a unit test of 20 marks. There will be two unit tests in fact. So the average will be taken out of the 20 mark test and there is a final exam of 80 marks and this sums up to 100 marks. There is no term work for this subject. It is just a theory paper which you have to attempt. So that's all about the introduction to the operational research subject, the topics which are included in the Mumbai University syllabus of the course code ILO 7015. So with this I end the session. I hope this session was informative. If you have any doubts or any questions, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. 
See you in the next session. Thank you. Thank you.